Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the video. In this one, we're gonna be making a album cover uh, and then we're gonna put it on a vinyl record mock-up. Uh, so let's just get started and uh, get right into it. I like to always reset my studio to default just in case you wanna follow along and you want your screen to look like my screen. And I do that by going up to Window, Studio, and Reset Studio. Okay, so I'm gonna link all the pictures below. There is um, the two main pictures we're gonna use for the cover, and then there is the mock-up picture for the, uh, we'll add the album cover to that mock-up. So those links are all below. So the first thing we're gonna do is set the file to a perfect square or canvas to a square, like a CD, like a CD would be, or a, <laughs> a vinyl record. And to do that, you're gonna go up to File, New, and I have my settings here as the page width and the page height at 2400 pixels. So uh, 2400 on width, 2400 on height, and my um, units is set to pixels. <clears throat> Any perfect square will work. I've just picked 2400, so that's what mine is set to. I've also imported both of these pictures, um, and you can, once you download them, again, the links are below, you can either just drag them into Affinity Photo or you can go File, Place, and bring them into Affinity. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to start with is this model here. So what I want to do is isolate this model from the background. And I'm going to do that by using the selection brush tool, which is in my tools menu over to the left here. Um, you can click this here or you can hit W on your keyboard. So when I do that, my mouse changes, I have the model selected and I'm just going to start painting over the model to get a quick selection. And that looks pretty decent. So now I'm going to hit refine up in my top toolbar and with my matte brush selected and I'm going to increase the brush a little bit make it a bit bigger maybe a little bit bigger I'm just going to go around the model's hair just to make sure we separate the background <clears throat> okay so I'm going to look at it with a white background just to, to get a good look so I'm going to under preview I'm going to select white matte and that looks pretty good to me. So under my output, I'm gonna pick my selection as new layer because I want this model on their own layer. So new layer, hit apply. And you'll see when I do that, I get a new um, a layer has appeared in my layer stack called pixel. My old picture with the background is here. I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna rename this one new model just so we know what we're looking at. Okay, cool, so now the model's isolated. Now, my next picture is this oil painting. I'm gonna rename this oil painting. So I got this cool oil painting and this will work with any pictures and any oil painting. I just got this oil painting texture, which I thought was nice. And I wanna blend it in with the model below. So to do that, I'm gonna use a blend mode. If you don't know about blend modes, I got a video on it. Uh, I'll try to link that below as well. Um, but blend modes basically allow you to blend layers um, below and on top together to get a specific look. So uh, let's see, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to default here, so normal. So this is what it would look like normally. And what I'm gonna do is change this blend mode to linear light. And when I do that, you can see the model behind there. I'm just gonna move the model's face, make, make her a bit bigger so that her face is visible in the lighter part so it looks a bit cooler. Cool. So this is what we got so far. I think it looks pretty cool. The model's blended in with this oil painting. And uh, what we're gonna do is one other technique here is just to see how it looks. Um, we're gonna apply some masks to remove part of this, uh, both photos, just to get a cool composition. So what I'm gonna do first is click on my oil painting layer at the top here. I'm gonna go down to my mask button and instead of hitting mask, I'm gonna hit empty mask. Now what empty mask does is it, it the picture will disappear. And if you don't know anything about masks, uh, I have a video on that as well. But an empty mask will basically make your picture disappear. And with your paintbrush, you can um, use white and you can paint certain parts or all of it back in. So I'll just show you what I mean. So I'm gonna hit empty mask. You'll see the top picture is gonna disappear. So now it's gone. You will see in my layer stack, I have oil painting and then this black mask underneath it. So I can bring this photo back by going over to my paintbrush here. It's B on your keyboard as a shortcut. And if I paint in white, it'll start bringing back portions of my picture. Now, whatever brush I use is how it's gonna come back. So I have a whole bunch of brushes installed. Um, I'm using oils, which is a default um, in Affinity. And I'm just gonna pick one of these random brushes, maybe this one, and I'm just gonna start painting part of this photo back in. So just to see what it looks like. We'll see if it looks decent or not. So let's go with that. <clears throat> so now you can see in my layer stack uh, the uh, portions that I painted back in uh, and the portions that are hidden under the mask. So I'm gonna do the same thing now with the model. I'm gonna go to the model. I'm gonna click on my mask button at the bottom of my layers and I'm gonna pick empty mask. The model will disappear. 
And now I'm gonna have my mask selected. I'm gonna change my brush this time to a different one, maybe something like this, and go back to my paintbrush. And then I'm gonna start painting some of this model back in. There, that looks, that looks pretty cool. Now the background is white, which looks okay, but I'm gonna go back to my layers panel and I'm gonna put a different background on it just to see if it looks any better. So to create a solid background, I'm gonna go up to my um, layer at the very top here. I'm gonna select new fill layer. Now by default, it's gonna drop it at the top. I want it at the bottom because I want it to be just at the bottom. This is what it looks like with a pure white background. If I were to make it black, it would look like this. I think I'm gonna do something in the middle. So maybe not totally white, but maybe a little bit gray just to do that. All right, so this looks pretty cool. And now I'm just gonna add a title to it. Uh, and I'm just gonna call this Mood Music. And then I'm gonna make music maybe, uh, let's make it all capitals actually. <clears throat> I'm gonna change music to, the font up here I'm using is uh, Impact. I'm just gonna use something simple like Arial for the other one, frowned upon by many designers, but hey, what do I know? So I'll do the top as Impact and I will just do the top as a very standard font here. Um, let's just use uh, classic Arial here. And one other thing that we're gonna do here is I'm gonna change the blend mode on this text just to see if it can look a bit cooler. I think I'm gonna pick um, exclusion. So I'm just in my blend modes again here. I have a video on those as I stated, and I'm gonna make this exclusion. So this is our cover, cool. So what we're gonna do now is save this photo and we're gonna bring it into our um, vinyl mockup and place it on top to see how it looks. So. To save this, uh, what we're gonna do is export it. We're gonna go File, Export. Now I'm gonna pick either, you can pick JPEG or PNG. I'm gonna pick PNG for mine. Everything else is good. I can see how it looks. I'm gonna export this. And then once that's saved, I'm gonna bring it into my uh, mockup. So let's do that now. Okay, so we got the vinyl mockup open. So to, to do this, if you've downloaded it on your computer, you can either drag it right into Affinity or you can right click on it and say open with Affinity Photo and this mockup will open up for you. Now it's a, it's a PNG mockup too, so there's no background, we'll add one after. Um, so what you wanna do is bring in your cover we just made. So to do that, you can either click on the file and drag it into Affinity or you can go file, place. Your computer's gonna prompt you to find the photo and you can just bring it in. So I've already brought mine in here, I got it over here. And I'm gonna to try to size it to the cover of this vinyl record here. Now what I'm gonna do is bring the opacity down of the cover a little bit, just so I can see the, uh, the edges to make sure I line it up properly. So I'm just gonna bring this up like this and a little bit over here. And sometimes um, it helps to turn snapping off because snapping wants to snap to edges and sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't. I'm gonna turn snapping off in my top toolbar here for a second, just so it isn't so magnetic and just bring it out as best I can. There's lots of ways to do mockups in uh, Affinity, this is a very basic one. In Photoshop they use um, um, smart objects and things like that, but this is just a very basic way to do it. So, um, <clears throat> okay, so I got my cover on there. Uh, maybe it could be a little bit more this way, maybe just a touch. And I'm gonna bring my opacity back up. So there we have our record. So we got a, a record now with our cover on it. Um, there's kind of a cool um, background on this. If I turn this off, like I like all this kind of gritty uh, we picked a cover that's really bright and colorful though, so it's really not going to show through too much. You could bring down the opacity a bit. You could try a different blend mode as well, um, just if you want a different sort of look. These are different blend modes you can use to give you a different look. That's kind of cool. But uh, it's all kind of what you're, what you're into. And let's add a background on this too, just a solid background because um, there's nothing on it right now. And again, just like we did earlier, for a solid background, you go up to Layer, New Fill Layer, and I'm going to drag mine to the bottom here. And this color happens to be gray, which is cool. That works for me. And this is our mock-up. So that is how we created a um, album cover with a perfectly square canvas. And we just imported it and brought it over into a mock-up. So now we have this. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully it was helpful. If it was, can you just tap, 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 tap that like button because it helps me out so much you have no idea. And if you've never seen my stuff before or you have, but you didn't subscribe, what are you doing with your life? Come on, join the gang. Uh, method gang, not an actual gang. 
because uh, I got new stuff coming all the time. Uh, so anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will get back to you. Thanks.